I had not been back there in years, but it was the last place left to look. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. Two odd contraptions guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. And that's what would have happened if I turned the left switch. But since I am here telling this story, you already know that I pulled the right one. Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide under the covers. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. Don't worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Nestled beneath a slumbering pile of teeth and claws was... Fabled mirror. Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. Do you want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... in my way to... <laughs> my way to... Add a shinier hat to my collection. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. As I was saying, <clears throat> this was no time to take a nap. Volumes of old books with foreboding titles clutter the shelves of that strange bedroom. How to Tame a Dragon, Breaking the Spirit of Hideous Beasts, Amateur Spells to Impress Your Friends With. <laughs> no books about recovering missing handles, though.
volumes of old books with foreboding titles clutter the shelves of the... So, the missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. Then, I used my cleverness to hide. Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. What did you use to... Dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I'd probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. Whoever designed this trap thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unbreachable switch. Thank you. 
The mirror called out to me. A ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. Grandpa! Dragon Petite Four. A ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive.
With a magic mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of the Daventry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. Choices in front of me. Any would clear my path to safety, and all would have rippling consequences. and my arms could barely grip the rope. But with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim. Sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right, let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. Like... Why did you set the dragon free, even though he was trying to eat you? I set him free because, well, over the years I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was never shown any kindness. On that day, I forgave the dragon for his atrocious past. You have such a bizarre way of making friends, Grandpa. I guess I do, too. I'm known as Gwendolyn the Popular back home, but only to my stuffed bunnies. I've always found it best to pursue friends where I can, though they don't always feel the same about me. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been, though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. Hello, cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa's stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes, the legendary beast that he set free. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. 
Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now, let's talk about far more important issues, like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Scott you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Treating my opponents with respect. You'll be surprised what opens up to you. A lovely fellow once told me the fastest way to anyone's heart is through their stomach. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story, one I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I welcomed the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. Daventry was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical floating island. I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. 
It seemed my first few minutes at Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? That odd horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. Rage tracks blazed a trail through the forest. I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox for. Shame. The only two left seemed to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. That wheel seemed freshly broken. Just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like... No! Oh! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. <laughs> Tell me, is it more of a... Ow! Oh, or a... Oh, oh! Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you. I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Ah, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day, and just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> well, now that I've mulled it over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material. Hey. Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait. You're stuck here with me. Every bridge in is out, and my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine, strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, could you repeat that? Try to keep up, son. Bridges out, failed shortcut, flying rock, wheel broke, be a strapping lad, get tools, fix wagon, get a lift to the tournament! Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. How did you get across that river? That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh. 
Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. Kitty, kitty, not a kitty, not a kitty! An overgrown patch of spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to a water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. Square was eerily quiet. Was I the only person in Daventry not at the parade? A bakery, and it smelled delicious. The delectable goods looked tasty, but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach. I didn't see any reason why that stale bread wouldn't work for a wheel. That sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. I decided to leave some coins for the bread. Shortcut. Here, kitty, kitty. Not a kitty, not a kitty. to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. I thought this might do the trick. Mm, lovely choice, boy. And thank the Yarble Snoofs this bread is beyond stale. Hopefully you didn't pay too much. You have a face that just screams overcharged. I've got just a fix for that, too. But we have important tournament business to tend to, and I think this'll do the trick. Ooh, I'll just need to start locking my unicorns up at night. Mr. Fancy Cakes has a nibbling problem. All right, off we go. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? Oh, sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy. So do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. Now, let's vamanoose from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. Mr. Fancy 
Patsy Cakes! Ah, heal! Halt! A mess! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> we sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Th th thanks for the hospitality. No time to lounge, my boy! Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step! We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape! Fun voyage, Buttercup! Don't forget about us working folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. Back away, back away! Hello! Uh, apologies, I'm late. Uh, I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name... The list, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? They're off duty. Don't ask. You needn't worry. These night hopefuls will figure out a solution soon, and then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I can find a way across. Ahem. <laughs> Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard once commanded must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance. Of a life or death nature. I stand corrected. And we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. King's orders. The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. Stay back. Very important protection duties in process. Come at me, bees! Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. Distress! Abandoned post! Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking. This tired argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the fact that I am... Uh-oh. Uh oh, dear. Not good. Please, please. Oh, 
Pardon me! The tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. It gets a tad annoying. Hang on a sec. Graham, right? Yes. Um, how did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Uh, thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me, a creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I can really use a friend. They call me Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, friend, what's your favorite color? Do you like popcorn-flavored jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? <laughs> Green. I prefer pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? <gasps> this competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. Let me know how I can help. <laughs> 